is there has been negative propaganda put out about me that's not true and has really stained, tried to stain stay in my legacy. I've always been a- You know, what's worse? You know, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood that, you know, and, and denial of something that shouldn't you shouldn't have to deny, which is your sexuality. Wendy Williams, she got fired from Hot 97 because she had a picture of Puffy and she was saying on air that she was gonna reveal the picture. And what was in the picture? We were in Cancun and we were on our way to the island of women. For whatever reason, dude was playing with Puff. He went behind him and grabbed his trunks and pulled them down. When he grabbed his trunk to pull them down, some girls that was taking pictures. They took the, that picture and emailed it back to Wendy Williams. <laughs> Wendy Williams said she had him in a compromising position and she was gonna put it out. So they stopped her from putting it out. Radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. Buckle up, folks, because Wendy Williams just dropped a bombshell on Diddy's closeted skeletons. I mean, we all know that if you're trying to play it straight, you probably shouldn't have pics of a dude yanking down your drawers, right? But apparently, Diddy missed that memo and Wendy is spilling all the tea. She's got the hot take on how hip-hop and homosexuality collide, and let me tell you, Diddy is feeling the heat. The fallout from Wendy's revelations is about to hit the fan, and it's not looking pretty. So what's the deal, you ask? Get ready to pick up your jaw off the floor because this is some juicy gossip. The more successful I got and he got and we believed in each other, the more of a jerk he became. There are rumors circulating on the internet that Wendy Williams, the popular TV personality, has a photo featuring two nude men. What's more intriguing is the speculation that one of the men could be the infamous Diddy. Before dismissing these rumors as fake news, it's worth noting that Wendy Williams is known for being upfront and supporting her claims with concrete evidence. In fact, Diddy's former bodyguard, Jean Deal has come forward with juicy information corroborating this nude rumor. But that's not all. It's Jaguar, right? A musician has also been divulging some juicy details regarding controversies involving high-profile figures such as Diddy and Alicia Keys. Although most people would refrain from disclosing such information, Wright has been audaciously speaking out. Deal appears to be supporting Wright's claims too. To quote him, people always sending me stuff, man. They sent me this stuff on Jaguar, right? I salute you, goddess. A lot of stuff you talking is real. Gene Deal claims that he witnessed an incident at a Philadelphia club where Diddy allegedly instructed R&B singer Music Soulchild to remove his turban. This revelation is quite surprising. Additionally, Deal has denied Jaguar Wright's accusations that he was paid to remain silent and instead commended her for speaking out. He believes that the focus should be on the ongoing crisis at hand. Meanwhile, Jaguar Wright has been making serious allegations against her former boss, Diddy, accusing him of underhanded behavior. It's important to take these claims seriously and investigate them thoroughly. In his words, baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Gene off. Ain't nobody ran Big Gene off. It's not happening. Never ran and never will. Never have. From nobody or no man. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So, I've heard you say that twice. Somebody sent that to me twice. So I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally. Do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. It ain't Big G. You might be speaking about somebody else. You're not speaking about Big G. On uh, YouTube, I got my number right there. People call me. 201-969-6168. Shit. <laughs> that's, that's my number I got for the people who want to talk to Big G. Not at all. Never running. Never have. None of these clowns out here. You understand what I'm saying, Mom? So, I really appreciate what you do. It's a sad day, you know, because people got mad at me when I told people that I was in justice with Mary and we was talking about life shit and how she was in the industry and everything like that. And she said, yo, and I was with, and I, I, I know what you're talking about. Despite attempting to defend himself against allegations made by Jaguar Wright and Wendy Williams, Gene Deal's statements only served to confirm their claims. He admitted to witnessing things while working for Diddy that led him to seek solace in religion. Deal also brought up Mary J. Blige, whom Wright had accused of wrongdoing, claiming that she had been hiding her attraction to women for years before the Diddy scandal broke. Wright even challenged Blige to a musical competition. Despite criticism from Summer Walker, Jaguar Wright remained steadfast in going after other celebrities. 
she challenged Mary J. Blige on Instagram, insisting that Blige had been hiding her true sexual orientation for years. Despite facing opposition, Wright refused to back down. About Mary, Jaguar said, I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? What can you do, Mary, other than playing dress up and eating snatch in dark places, hoping nobody finds out? And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. They even looked at her like she was something in the zoo. Hmm. They didn't clap for Mary. They did not clap for Mary at all. And you need to get over yourself too. That's why you paying Ken do all that money. See, that's 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 a problem. That's karma. You ain't nothing but a hood rat. You sat there and has tried to get in the way of people who were greater than you. When my album came out, she told the CEO of our company that that little cross-eyed fucker. She told him, if, and this was at the MTV Unplugged Studios. She had the dressing room next to mine. She was so scared when she came in, because see, when we had rehearsal... The bodyguard went on to talk more about Jaguar Wright's accusations against Diddy in a different video. He delved into Diddy's alleged homosexuality and repeatedly referred to him as sexually flexible. Later, Deal revealed that he witnessed Diddy a company exhibit to a gay bar, insinuating that it was Deal's responsibility to monitor the bad boy CEO's interactions with other men. These claims seem to lend credibility to Wright's claims against Diddy. During the interview, he said, I know that for a fact because I was right there. He said, Yo, Gene, watch the door that doesn't let nobody come through. I said, I'll watch the door, and if I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked, and I said that ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. I'm telling you what I saw. He was upstairs, and he said, Yo, Gene, watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said, watch the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. Gene has added to the mounting accusations against music mogul Diddy with a stunning interview where he made some shocking allegations. According to Gene, in the early 2000s, when he was working for Diddy, he accompanied him to an exotic bookstore where the mogul reportedly bought a bag of sex toys for his children. The shocking part, the bag supposedly contained several butt plugs, leaving many people disturbed. Gene went on to disclose that Diddy planned to take these toys to Ja Rule's house after a concert in North Carolina. Despite Gene's attempts to dissuade him, Diddy was insistent. The news has taken social media by storm, with people expressing shock and disbelief at these allegations. But Gene is not the only one with intriguing stories to tell. Wendy has voiced her disapproval of the widespread homophobia within the hip-hop community. That's what she told me, I'm not down with any of that. It wouldn't be my man. To be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in the 1980s too. What's worse? Hip-hop wearing skirts or hip-hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and that, you know, and denial is something that you shouldn't have to deny. There were many situations back in the day in my career, and it's all coming full circle now. The ongoing discussion about Diddy's sexual preferences raises the inevitable question, is he attracted to men? Speculation about his sexuality has been circulating for some time, but he has also been romantically involved with prominent women such as the late Kim Porter. These relationships have resulted in several children, including Christian Combs, who is currently pursuing a career in entertainment. Despite Diddy's repeated assertions that he is not gay, his behavior over the years has conveyed a different impression. One recent music video features a rapper whose lyrics read, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved. Loved, divided by but that I know how I really want to be loved but I'm but I'm like scared to really really feel that you know it's like you want something but you don't know if you can handle it maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive hip-hop has brought some incredible transformations to the scene but it's time to admit that the genre's homophobia is just straight up whack even high-profile figures like Diddy are struggling to come out and be proud of their sexuality thanks to the genre's deep-rooted fear of being gay. Critics point out that anti-gay slurs have become the norm in rap music, and even enlightened rappers like J. Cole are immune to this epidemic. But let's keep it real, y'all. There's still hope for change in the future. Okay, that's it for now, but please hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Goodbye.